Hey, mini fish. October 21st, 2017. Shabbat Shalom. And they just cannot help it. They have to just throw this stuff in your face. This could very easily have been 665.2 or 666.3. Anything, but I digress. With our little Roman Empire buildings here. It's, once again, you know, I can't help it. It's just everywhere, you know, 9-11. And, and the reason I even bring this up is, is because this is what I see, and I have to bring it up. I can't not show you this stuff. 3.3, 3.3 billion, 3, it's just ridiculous, okay? But it brought me back to this one from yesterday. The Orange Bloomberg article with the 144 and the 9-11... 9-11, I'm not going to go through it again, but this here, it struck me odd yesterday, but this morning, I'll, I'll tell you why. I mean, we know that it's very highly unlikely that the claims decreased by exactly 22,000 K, mind you, K. K is a 2, okay? So we're getting, we got 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. estimated 240 K. The 22, it just struck me because it, this is just how things hit me. When I was looking at the little doodle here yesterday, right? The sun comes into the scale. The scales are Libra. The sun leaves the scale, leaves Libra, and this little guy comes in. Well, lo and behold, the sun is actually in Libra right now, and it leaves Libra tomorrow. And I don't know what just happened to that. There it is. It leaves Libra tomorrow on the 22nd. Is that what that means? I have no idea. But it just struck me that way. That's all. That's I just pass this stuff on to you guys. That's all. But I took the little uh, doodle. And I just took a still of it here. This is after the sun leaves Libra. And the 144 go up. Okay. Now straight off the bat i mean it's undeniable that these little trays here are masonic compass and squares i mean that's what they are kind of undeniable i think and if we look at the 144 the actual formula on this guy's little uh this astrophysicist chandahakara the guy there his formula was just 1.4 times that of the sun they just added on this logo on this animation, the 144. And they do it on purpose. So it obviously represents something, right? Well, seeing how Google's not evil, right? 4, 4, and 1 are 9, right? And you could very easily look at this little weight as the 11, okay? Now, you might think that's a little reach, but that's fine. But I want to show you one more thing. If you just look at this little doodle, see our little sun, star arrangements back here? Well, this one here is real obvious, and then you'll see the rest. It's like a two-year-old connecting the dots because this is what they do. This is how they mock you. And laugh at you and keep you from the knowledge of God that's their point that's what they do they're like ravenous wolves they want to keep you from the knowledge of God they want to keep you from knowing the truth who is Jesus now granted that son leaves Libra and this little guy comes down the 144 go up and then he just explodes well could do a study on the 144 but oddly enough revelation 14 4 these are they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins these are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth these were redeemed from among men being the first few fruits unto god and to the lamb the 144 now I got a feeling I'm going to end up studying the 144 today. And I would suggest that would be a good study for everybody. 
But I had to put this stuff out. I could not just sit on this. This is crazy. The 144 connected totally to the financials. All of it. It's all connected to the financials. And once the financials go, folks, once there's calamity in the financials, that just completely dominoes into everything. Everything goes. You see what I'm saying? So, whatever this means, it's got their Google evil signature all over it. So, I'm getting in my gut, when the sun leaves Libra, something. Again, I don't know what, you guys. I wish I did, but then again, maybe I don't. But there you have it. I mean, that's the best I can do for now. Definitely be back with more on this. This is just this is just too much. You know what I'm saying? 322 right in the dang doodle. Come on. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,